Hey guys, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a Let's Make a Card video. Uh, I've been playing around with the Anna Griffin Holiday Hearth Easel Card Die Set. And um, this is what uh, we've been making right here. I made a couple of these now. And I know a couple people were worried about the um, flatness of the card going in an envelope. And actually, it... Other than um, other than the width being the five, this I trimmed this little Christmas tree down after I had made this, and it actually fits in an envelope just fine. Uh, the other thing is like the thickness of it; it's like your normal Anna Griffin style um, card with the thickness layer. And if you wanted it to be thinner, you would you could actually not double up the. Uh, dimensionals in under the sentiment and just do it singular like this or you could put these flat and then this just the one uh, to get it a little bit more flat if you were you know concerned about that but in all reality it actually fits in it, it actually fits in in a five by seven envelope a regular one um, pretty decently it, it pokes out just a hair but not not bad not bad at all um, you know, I mean, considering, you know, it's an Anna Griffin, it's an Anna Griffin card. Hers are notorious for, you know, a lot of dimension anyways, you know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, you don't want to smash your little bow. Probably should have put it in the other way, but I mean, in all reality, that's kind of what you're... You know what you're looking at. And if I was sending this, I would actually put another piece of stiff cardstock over the top and the bottom anyways on the inside of the envelope. Uh, so there'd be a, a cardstock here if I was doing this. And uh, you're going to definitely have to send it at a higher rate just because of how thick it is. But we surpassed that quarter inch thickness mark so many um, layers ago. It's not even funny. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's totally worth it, but I understand too, you're not going to obviously make this for, you know, 50 people. Like, yeah, I send Christmas, Christmas cards between 75, 50 and 75 Christmas cards every year, so I totally get it. So another alternate version um, I thought might be uh, kind of fun was this one here. It uses the um, Just the Fireplace die out of that set, and it's on a gusseted... Um, I, I ended up using the mantle on it on the top and the bottom as a gusset instead. And it, it lays a little flatter than the other one does. So in all reality, this one still has dimension to it though, in spite of, because, um, you know, I did use, um, dimensional adhesive to put it together. So, but you know, if you're looking for something a little flatter, you know, and it, it's got pearls on it though you're you're still going to you're still going to be at a much higher rate anyhow cuz you know this is you add a half a flat back half pearl and good grief you're more than a quarter inch anyways but i thought this was actually a a fun way to alternately use that die and have that great little uh, fireplace scene on the front of a card and i got to use my wallpaper uh, cardstock there because I really wanted to use this as wallpaper and I thought that actually came out pretty fun so we're going to recreate this um, for the most part uh, so basically what I've done is I've taken a sheet of cardstock I cut it down uh, 10 by 7 on the 10 side at 5 I scored folded that burnished it you know creased it really well to get a nice fold line there and that's my card base and this is stamps of life spearmint really nice sturdy great weight uh, this paper is out of the Anna Griffin Holiday Hearth Pattern Cardstock Collection. Uh, so is the um, this wood grain one that we're going to use here. Uh, so this one's cut down to... Oh, we don't need this either. This one's cut down to uh, 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. And that's going to be my top layer here. And we're just going to glue that directly on there. There we go. Yeah, this is so festive and cheery. 
oops, uh, the glue dries clear, so don't worry if you, it oozes out a little on you. No problem. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So then the next thing you want to do is you want to take the wood grain and you want to go four and three eighths by four and three quarters. And then we're going to glue that to, oh, right about there. So, but come up about, um, about an eighth of an inch, three eighths of an inch from the bottom and then center it right to left. And you're going to pop that down. Yeah, roughly. I just like this wallpaper, so I wanted to see it at the bottom. Technically, it should be all the way at the bottom, but <laughs> I, I wanted to see a, at least a little bit, you know. I think it's so pretty. Yeah, I think this is just gorgeous. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take this. And so what I've used out of the die set is I cut my fireplace out. And this is a uh, copper foil, Anna Griffin matte gold, and then some brown card stock. I cut out the two holly. So the only dies we're using are we're using uh, the fireplace or the fire. We're using just the fireplace die. We're using the holly. And then I did do three stockings, but um, I don't think they're quite dry yet because I put stickles on them. Uh, I did that. Uh, I layered stickles up and it's still really wet so I don't think I'm going to get to use them on this card with you but I can put them on afterwards. Um, I do have some recollections uh, stockings and then I also have these Jolie uh, boutique embellishments and they have these almost every year. These great little hollies with the little red gems in them. They're glitter uh, dimensional. Um, and then these stockings, I got these at Michael's on a, a clearance sale and they were really good value. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to get is a sentiment. Uh, I grabbed this one out of the holiday stickers and sentiment pack. I've been using this one a lot. It's got a lot of fun Christmas, um, ephemera pieces in it, sticker embellishments. It's great. Um, and then let's see, so that and that, and then you're going to need some flat back pearls, which I got a big case of them off of Amazon. Hold on one second. Let me grab them. Uh, this one here, we're going to use some red ones out of it. And that's about it. That's all you need out of this set here in your cardstock and stuff. So, let's see. Now, now to do this fireplace portion, what you're going to do is, on the top... Instead of, um, you're going to do the top just like normal. So this score line right there, you're going to fold down. And you're going to burnish that really good. And then the second one uh, that you can see, see there on the back, that one there. You're going to want to put your ruler on that and you're going to want to fold backwards. Uh, let's see, here's my Tim Holtz ruler. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a chance to do the video, so I ended up putting everything away. And so, right about there, I think, is what we're going to do. And then fold it the lat, like so. So what you end up with is like this. Like that. So the top one goes down. The second one goes back. And when you're burnishing this line to get it crisp, um, you'll want to probably do it on the back so that way you don't rip. It doesn't want to rip out the, the cuts there. So then on this one, you're going to turn it over like that and you're going to do the same. There's a score line right there. So you're going to fold down. You're going to burnish that like so. And then at the bottom of this uh, embossed rectangle, right there, you're going to follow that line. Put your ruler on that line. And, um, yeah, because you can't see it on the back. Put it on that line and fold up and crease it. But then you're going to fold back as well. You're going to fold it backwards. This is just to get you a line. 
So fold it up like that, and then, see you got a line on the back? Now put your ruler on that line you just created and fold back on itself. And this is so that way, see how thin it is right there? You don't rip that out. So technically it goes like this, back like this. And so let's, let's burnish that. Press, press that into the table and then burnish it like that. And then fold that one back up and burnish it again like that. So you're basically trying to make a gusset on the top and the bottom like that. And then we're going to adhere this like this. Uh, at the bottom of that wood panel and centered so like that so now what you want to do is um you want to and what i did was i actually held it with a couple of clips first like that on the very edge like this and then i put glue on mine and you could put adhesive on it as well, like regular um, tape runner uh, would help it too. Like so. And then what we want to do is we want to line this up. We want to put it at the bottom. And then centered. And then you're just going to press it down. Press it down, and then you can take your uh, clips off like that. And if these don't stay down, just put a little glue underneath the tabs. That's all I did. You just want to hold that, put a block on it, you know, put a block on it for just a couple of minutes. And actually, I'm going to see if... Uh, nope, mine is good. Mine is totally good. Um, I put it right close to the clip so it doesn't actually need any. And then look, you get that fireplace with some of the dimension. And when you ship it, it ships flat like that. Isn't that great? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I thought that was actually pretty fun. So now what we want to do is we want to grab our little fire. You want to grab a dimensional. Uh, I was using the uh, big ones. Uh, the Anna Griffin large ones. Uh, let's see. Come on. Like a so. And uh, just put one on the back. And then center it up in there. Like that. There we go. Okay, one sec. Okay, I'm not sure where we're at. I had to take off real quick. Um... I had to help John set some grain silos, and I have no idea where I'm at in this process. Um, other than, it looks like we got our fireplace. We got our fire. Um, so I guess uh, what we could do here is, let's see, we could, um, we're going to add this to the top. Uh, let's see, and this, this sentiment is out of, um, let's actually pop this one up. I didn't on the other one, but, I mean, we're here, we can, we might as well. Uh, I just, I, th I think it'll look really cute. But if you wanted it to stay thinner and, you know, with less dimension, you would just obviously just stick this straight down. Um, let's see, and I'm going to try to center this up. But I want some of my wallpaper to show. So I'm going to do, does that look? It could probably go to the right just a hair. Which is fine with me because then you get a little bit more of the detail. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> Is that... Oh, that might be too far. Oh, darn you. Come on. You can do it. Okay, that looks a, that looks pretty decent, right? Okay, and so then the other thing was is I cut these out of the die set. Um, I cut these out of the die. And let's see, where can we... We could actually, we should, oh, that's right. I glued these together and popped them up on dimensionals. Uh, but I, but I actually, the top one, I actually kind of curled the leaves up a little. Uh, I'm going to glue this one to the other one. 
but I wanted to, to curl and give dimension to these leaves a little bit. Uh, rather than it being, you know, kind of like decoupage type deal. And uh, it, it stands up a little, you know. Uh, and I think I want to put dimension on these as well. Let's let's just curl the very ends of these tips. Um, just kind of bend them up a tad. And uh, and then we'll put, yeah, we'll put dimension on both of these. That'll be super fun. Although the idea of the card was definitely to be less dimension. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the reason I was doing this. It was, it was to make a flatter card. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. We're going for no dimension. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, we'll just take these off. So that way it would fit in a regular card. That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Okay, so let's put glue on this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> on to the next thing. Let's anagriffin it up. Hone, uh, yeah. Hone in on your inner Anna. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so here we go. That's right, I forgot. About there? Does that look good? Yeah, that that was the whole the whole reason for this. Okay, so we were gonna actually stack these up. Let's see which one. Yeah, this one has more this one has a little more dimension than this one. And we can even offset them just a tad, I think. So I'm gonna put glue on the back of this. There. I think that looks cool still. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks neat. Yeah, see? That looks really good, right? What do you think? Right? That looks good. And then we're going to put the half pearls on there anyways and add a couple of the other uh, glittery ones. So, and then that, the one on this one, I actually popped this up. So, I think I'm still going to, because it's not, it's not that much. So I, I, I think I'm still going to do the same thing. But I need the smaller, let's see, I need the smaller dimensionals. Uh, put the pen back in the glue. And let's see. And this one here, I had to put, um, I had to use these really tiny ones out of the Anna Griffin set. These are so small. Uh, but that was the only thing that would actually fit on the back of this. So you kind of put a couple there, put one there. It doesn't need a lot. Um, but it, but it is nice, you know, to add them. Yeah, yeah, see, I think that's good. And then we'll just take those little backers off. And they, they peel right off. They're, they're really nice. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, look how pretty. Right? Oh, doesn't that look great? I think that looks cool. Okay, and now I want to add some half pearls to that. Oh, actually, here, let's, let's add these in really quick. And uh, I just, I just popped them on like that. And just kind of one on each end not anything you know kind of like so it just adds a little glimmer or glitter and you know makes it fun and then also a little bit fuller with the the extra leaves 
you know, there, there, isn't that great? Okay, and then we'll add the half pearls. Let's see, and I don't know if my um, little stockings are done yet or not. So let's do, let's do, let's just grab, there we go, and this, this set is off of Amazon. And let's see, right, we'll just go right there. I think I told you that already. Like, I got this set off of Amazon. You just type in, you know, flatback pearls, and they come up. There we go. Come on. Just make sure it's touching the glue and generally they're fine. You don't really have to worry about them. Okay. Okay, and then there's that. And look how nice that looks. Now all I need are my stockings. So I have the option to use the ones I made or which I think they'll be really, really darling on there. Or I could use the, um, I can use the, uh, let's see what these, or I can use the ones I got from, you know, Michael's, um, if these aren't dry yet. Oh, barfing naked. Oh, they're almost. Oh, yeah, they're almost, they're almost dry, but look how cute those are going to look. I think I could probably get them on there. We could do that. Or, um, let's see. Or we can put, these actually I think stand out better. Maybe I'll use these for something else. And let them finish drying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just grab a few of these. And then we can just be finished with the card. Uh, let's see. We went about here. Um, let's see, we want a little polka dot one. About here. And then, one more of these. About there. Okay, and that's it. That's it for the card. And then this actually will ship... Um, in spite of the fact that it has all that dimension on the front of it, it will actually ship really, really flat because it goes just like this, just, just like that in an envelope. So here, let me grab that envelope again and show you. And I would still put a, um, a topper, a, uh, slide a piece of thick cardstock over the top of this. Uh, when I put it in the card. Maybe not on the bottom necessarily, but definitely on the top. And that's just so everything inside the, you know, on the top of the card uh, doesn't get damaged in shipping. But, yeah. So there you go. It goes just like that. And it, it ships pretty stinking flat. So, um, you'll still have to put extra postage on it because it is so thick. Um, I don't think it will be a quarter of an inch or less. See, I made a slot to test it. Um, this is my little uh, mailer tester. Yeah, it, it goes through, but it doesn't like it because of the half pearls. And because those are so bumpy. And that's also the other reason I put the cardstock on the top when I do mail stuff like this. But there it is there. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the card down in the comments below. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. And until next time, happy crafting, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye-bye.